Maker Eli Lilly is planning to ask the FDA to approve a diabetes drug for weight loss. It's called trizipatide. The company says a new study showed obese people with diabetes who used the drug for a lengthy time not only controlled blood sugar but also lost weight. It's important to note the data has not been peer reviewed. Now, it's just the latest drug that could be approved for weight loss. Yeah, it's uh, could it be a better option though than diet and weight than exercise for weight loss? We're joined now by Dr. Mir Ali. He is a bariatric surgeon and medical director of Memorial Care Surgical Weight Loss Center at Orange Coast Plaza Center. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, good morning to you. So first of all, let's just talk about the Wait. efficacy, right? How effective are drugs like Ozempic for weight loss, and what are the pros and cons? Because we've been talking about this a lot, and and are people misusing it for weight loss? Yeah, these drugs are very effective for weight loss, uh, uh, more so than some of the other drugs that have been available on the market for much longer. And they started as, you know, as you mentioned, diabetic medication, and uh, they found its secondary effect as weight loss. So people have started using them for weight loss, and the Zempic has been approved for, for weight loss. I know it's been approved. I think there's just there's been some conversation about obviously if someone is diabetic and needs to take the medication um, to lose weight versus someone who just is you know 10 15 pounds overweight. Is that really an effective use of the drug? Yeah, the the strict indications of the drug are based on patients' BMI. So if patients have a BMI greater than 30, that would put them in the obese category. Then uh, they are qualified to have this drug. Now there are Patients uh, who are using it off label, they aren't, don't meet the criteria of a BMI 30, and like you said, 10 or 50 pounds of lose, and um, are using these medications. So the, the ethical dilemma comes up are they taking them away from people who really need them, or are, is it reasonable to use it in that case? Right. Yeah, and if someone with other issues like hypertension, how effective is surgery to deal with you know, these issues long term? Surgery is the most effective long-term for dealing with um, type 2 diabetes, hypertension, and other medical conditions associated with weight. Um, there's a lot of data, a lot of studies done that show that weight loss surgery has the best uh, long-term uh, efficacy resolving or improving these issues and uh, keeping patients away from um, that, all these problems. It may be the most effective way, but I, I don't know about you. I would like to avoid surgery uh, mm -hmm. as much as I possibly well, can. What are some of the yeah, other surgery. effective weight loss options if you want to do that? Well, yeah, surgery um, is only for people who qualify to meet the uh, weight loss the, uh, BMI criteria. And so if patients don't meet that criteria, obviously the safest thing is diet and exercise. That yeah. has the lowest complication rate. Um, so, but there are many tools available for patients to lose weight and medication is one of them. Uh, the whole goal with any program, uh, medication, even surgery, is to provide a tool for the patient to help them lose weight. Um, but it's really up to the patient to make those permanent uh, long-term uh, lifestyle changes that can lead to uh, sustain weight loss and a uh, healthier life. You know, I, I feel like in the past we've we've seen some of these other drugs come out. They've been approved. People take them. It works really well for weight loss. And then sometimes, you know, months, years later, it comes out that the side effects really far outweigh the benefits of, of the weight loss. Is there possibility that that could happen in this case with some of these diabetes diet drugs? Um, it is possible. I mean, these drugs have been around for some time, so there is good data, long-term data on them. But it, you know, and, uh, and people who have been on them for decades. So, um, you know, the concern is if a patient um, use the medication and they stop and they start regaining weight and resume the medication, how, um, what are the effects years or decades down the road? Mm. And um, that's something that you only kind of tell, but yeah. it, it's possible, but um, not likely, it seems to the research done so far. Okay. Well, that's encouraging. Dr. Mir Ali, thanks so much for joining us.